Number eight, fill in the blank with a single chemical formula for a covalent compound that will balance the equation. Okay, and they give us this nice equation. Now, in, in this case, they have actual bonds written out for the compounds. But don't be scared. It's, it's still coming back to what we know from balancing equations. Remember, the total number of each element has to be the same on both sides. It looks like I have just a bunch of carbons with hydrogens and oxygens, right? Reacting with NaOH, which is sodium hydroxide, and I will put that right here. This is sodium hydroxide. And when these two compounds come together, they will form this plus sodium with a charge. Just know that if sodium has a charge, it is an ion, so it's in its ionic form. And this compound is also in its ionic form because it's O negative. But when you're balancing equations, the positives and the negatives, they don't count for how many elements you have of each, but they do count for the overall charge. Now, this is where we have to fill in, you know, who's missing here. But remember that the same number of elements, right, the number of carbons and the hydrogens and the sodiums have to be the same on the reactant side as they are on the product side. So if we just take a quick tally, let's see what's missing to find out what should be here. So let's color code this. Let's start off with the carbons. I see on the left-hand side, or the reactant side, that I have three carbons coming from here, one, two, and three. And on the product side, I have one, two, and three. So the carbons are balanced. Let's do the hydrogens now. Out of all of the hydrogens over here, let's see how many I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six hydrogens, and then I have one single hydrogen over here. So that's seven. So I have seven total hydrogens here. Let's see how many I have over here. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm, I'm looking. I don't see anything, right? That's all I see. So I have five five hydrogens on this side. So how many are missing? If I have a seven on this side and I have five hydrogens on this side, I'm missing two hydrogens. That means that two hydrogens have to be in that covalent compound. Okay, let's just keep investigating. Let's do the oxygens. How many total oxygens are on the left? I have one up here. I have another oxygen over here. And I have an oxygen here. So I have three oxygens. So I'll say three O's. And let's just see how much I have on this side. So I have one, two. Hmm, I don't see any others. So I have two oxygens. Oh, I have a total of three on the reactant side, but I only have two oxygens on the uh, product side. And let me just say like, you know, oxygen, oxygen. Okay. So I'm missing one oxygen. I know that that has to be in my compound that's missing. And now the last element is sodium. Let's just quickly run through that. We'll do that in blue. I have one sodium here. I have one sodium here. So that's balanced. So the only thing that's missing and that I need to put in my single chemical formula is a compound that has two hydrogens and one oxygen. Hmm. It has to be a, a, a formula, right? So let's see. If I have H and O, how many hydrogens? Two. How many oxygens? One. Do we really have to write the one? No. Oh, it's water. Water is missing. So it would just be H2O. And H2O has no charge, right? It's a neutral compound. But you can quickly just see that by seeing... There's a negative charge on the, on the products, so that's a negative one. There's a positive charge here, so that means that it's a plus one. So a negative plus one, a negative one plus one is zero. 
So that means that the whole side here has to be zero. And what is the whole charge on here? I don't see any charge here. And NaOH has no charge. So the total charge on this side would be zero. So you have to make sure that the elements are balanced, but also the charges as well. That the charge on the reactant side is the same as the charge on the products. So what's the answer? We're just adding water. And water, we know, is covalent, right? Covalent means all nonmetals, and hydrogen is a nonmetal, and so is oxygen. Um, I think we got it covered. So yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, give this video a like if it helped you out, and if you want, you can subscribe to the channel. But if not, that's totally fine. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.